to go. Let's listen to one more. This is Dominic Foxworth, former NFL defensive back, uh, on the question, will Baker Mayfield be a starter somewhere this upcoming football season? Will Baker Mayfield be a starting quarterback in the NFL this season? I absolutely think he will. Like, I think that um, he's the first round number one overall pick talent wise. And then you can explain away the bad seasons that he's had. I'm not saying that it's right, but I think it's easy for a team to talk about the injuries last year, talk about the coaching situations in the past and talk about and point to the successes that he's had. And you look around this league. There aren't 32 quarterbacks better than Baker Mayfield. And I think teams are going to want him. I think Seattle looks like a place that might end up getting him. And I think the Browns want to get rid of him. So he'll be cheap to acquire in an upgrade over the quarterback situation in a lot of places in the NFL. So I'd be shocked if he's not a starter at week one. All right. Before I let you go, is there any way you think Baker Mayfield ends up as a starter in the NFL this year? Or do you think he will? Oh, not I anyway. Do you think he will? Absolutely, right? The hurdle for Baker Mayfield starting is getting a team to bring him into the building, right? Like, once he gets in there, like, if you bring Baker Mayfield into camp, right, and you got Drew Locke and Baker Mayfield standing next to each other, oh, <laughs> Baker Mayfield's going to look, like, great next to Drew Locke or Sam Darnold or any of these quarterbacks. Like, imagine you draft Kenny Pickett, and then you also have Baker Mayfield, and then you put those two next to each other, and it's a world of difference. Like between the, the physical skill set between those two players, right? Baker is faster, throws a better football, um, and has way more zip, and he is a bigger player overall. Like when it comes to his weight, not his height. Um, so yeah, like if when he gets on a roster and if his competition isn't like an established starter or anything, he can start over a lot of guys, right? Like you know, if you don't have a, a set starter, yeah, Baker Mayfield's gonna look fine. You know what I mean? And he is gonna win out the job against most quarterbacks. Even like if he went to Atlanta, he would probably beat out Marcus Mariota. Um, that's that's one of the things I worry about with this quarterback class. With the guys, you could get a free agency, right? You get J you could got you could have gotten Jameis Winston, you could have gotten Marcus Mariota, and you can get Baker Mayfield. Um, any of those guys, if you put them next to anybody but Malik Willis in training camp, they're gonna look woefully like physically incompetent compared to them um so yeah he he will get a chance to start because uh, there will be those issues with hey how baker feels and how he acts sometimes but he'll be on his best behavior when he gets traded or moved somewhere um and you know once he gets in the building you'll see him play some football and you know, hey you're gonna be able to talk yourself into baker mayfield that's never been an issue people have always been able to talk themselves into Baker Mayfield. We have talked ourselves into Baker Mayfield. It's not a very difficult thing to do. He shows the signs. It's just living the four-year Baker Mayfield experience. <laughs> that's a whole nother ride in itself. But buying into it, oh, yeah, you'll see the signs. You know what I mean? He'll show you something. He's not a bum. Like, I think people think he's a bum. He's not a bum. Like, he, he's a good quarterback um, who can show you that he could be a great quarterback, but he can also play very bad at times, too, right? That's just, that's just the reality of him. But that's good enough.